Asteroid 2012 DA-14 will get close on February 15, 2013, but it will fly safely past Earth. Using NASA's Eyes on the Solar System web visualization tool, we can see the asteroid's flight path. At 72 hours before its closest approach, it is a million miles away, approaching Earth from the south. 24 hours from closest approach, DA-14 is about 300,000 miles away. We see NASA's fleet of tracking and data relay satellites, or TDRS, in geostationary orbit, which is more than 22,000 miles above Earth's surface. DA-14 will pass to the interior of the ring of geostationary orbiters, so there is very little chance that it will hit one, because almost no satellites are orbiting at the distance the asteroid will pass. Twelve hours out, we begin to see the bright white of Antarctica as DA-14 approaches. It's summer at the South Pole when the continent basks in sunlight 24 hours a day. At the six-hour mark, we see low-Earth orbiting spacecraft, flying less than 500 miles above us. The asteroid will be flying at much higher altitude, and none of these spacecraft are in danger of being hit. 30 minutes before closest approach, the sun is about to rise over eastern Australia. At its closest point, DA-14 will be no less than 17,000 miles above Indonesia, traveling about 17,500 miles per hour relative to Earth. DA-14 becomes visible over Europe about an hour after closest approach, and visible to telescopes in North America six hours later, after sunset. The asteroid will be fading in brightness by this time because it will be moving away from Earth. NASA scientists will capture radar images using the 70mm telescope at NASA's Deep Space Network at Goldstone, California. The information will help them determine the asteroid's shape, size, and spin rate to learn even more about asteroid 2012 DA-14.